sorry, to me. Come close, honey. Come close. <laughs> we would like to thank the coroner, Dr. Sean Cummings, for how he has handled Natasha's inquest and our legal team for their support throughout. We would also like to thank the public for their great kindness that they have shown and the media for their sensitive reporting and we would like to express our sincere gratitude to Dr. Pearson Jones, the young doctor, for his efforts to save Natasha's life. This has been an incredibly difficult week for us as a family but the process has, however, shed light on very, very important issues that led to Natasha's death. Not just for us as Natasha's family, but for all allergy sufferers. Our beloved daughter died in a tragedy that, that should never have happened. And we believe that this inquest has shown that she died because of inadequate food labeling laws. We are also shocked to learn that there have been a number of previous serious allergic incidents involving sesame seeds at Pret-a-Manger before our daughter died. It feels to us that if Pret-a-Manger were following the law, then the law was playing Russian roulette with our daughter's life. It's clear that the food labeling laws as they stand today are not fit for purpose and it is now time to change the law. Natasha's inquest should serve as a watershed moment to make meaningful change and to save lives. Thank you. Thank you very much. What we have learned over the past five days is that Natasha died of anaphylaxis as a result of ingesting hidden sesame in a pret a manger artichoke, olive and tapenade baguette. The inquest has made it clear that the lack of allergy labelling on food led to the death of a 15-year-old girl. The law as it stands currently treats multinational companies in the same way as a local sandwich shop. This cannot be right. We call on Michael Gove to take immediate action in response to the coroner's report, and we also call upon the manufacturers of EpiPens to take action. The coroner found that pret a procedures for recording and monitoring reports of problems with foods or items purchased at Pret were inadequate and incoherent. We hope that lessons will be learned from this inquest so this sort of tragedy never happens again. Thank you.